Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video, and in today's video we're going to be doing a what if, being the thumb, what if, the, the thumbnail of the what if is right here, this is going to be a universal intro from now on, so yeah, I'm sorry about that, until I can get more time, because I do have school, summer school at least, I won't be able to post any really good intros, so this is going to be an intro for a while. So, hope to see you later. Join the Discord server, link in the description, and let's get in to the what if. Alright, guys, welcome back to part. Five. Now, this would be probably six parts of the what if. Well, part four. This is part four. There will probably be five parts of this what if. And then I'll upload the movie on Saturday. Now, I'm going to tell you guys now. I have just posted a poll in, the, in my Discord server. It'll be on two what ifs. One is what if. Uh, what, what were the what ifs? Hold on. Let me look at my phone for Discord right quick. It was. What if Naruto joined the Akatsuki, or what if Deku was Kakashi's reincarnation? Now, I want you guys to go, go if you're not in the Discord, go join the Discord. And it, um, go vote to see which, uh, for whatever what if you want. Now, I'm really going to post polls on which what ifs to do. But these are two what ifs that I want. I've made the Naruto Akatsuki thumbnail a long time ago. I wanted to do it, but forgot about it. And then when I reached out, I'm like, yo, let me post this in the poll. Probably do that. Then there's the Kakashi one. I've made, I did make a Kakashi what if, what if Kakashi was in my hero, or was it what if? I think I did make the what if Kakashi was in my hero. And then deleted it from the channel because I wasn't fully, in, I wasn't truly ready to make a what if about my hero yet. And it was kind of going to suck, just like with the Minato one. Which I'm going to replace that with what if Deku was Minato's reincarnation. So, And there's going to be a Jiraiya, Tobirama, Hashirama. Maybe a hero's in. I'm not sure. Then there's going to be. I'm not going to. I might do a the right Kage as a reincarnation video for Deku. I most definitely. I'm, no, I might do a Piccolo. Might not. I'm not sure. And then I got a Saiyan Deku and all those things lined up. In like. Not the near future, but somewhere in the future. So yeah. Now go ahead. Um. Like the video, subscribe if you want. If you want to enjoy this, if you enjoyed the past what ifs of this series, again I'm trying to keep up with you guys and so give you guys one series a, a week. So yeah, now let's just get into the what if. I've already spent two minutes talking about this. Now we have passed into the one month time skip to the start start back up of the finals of the UA Sports Festival. Now, all I'm going to say is, some people in the sports festival stadiums have been replaced. Now, if you watch Naruto, if you've watched, if you now, if you watch the um the tuning exams arc of Naruto, the first part at least, then you should know what I'm doing here. So just suspect it. I'm just going. You, I've already technically. You already would have known if you have if you, if you watched Naruto since the guards from Naruto world. Anyway, moving on. Now, <clears throat> Deku would actually still be the first person to go, being Deku versus someone different. This person being Bakugo. Now I'm going to move Todoroki over to um to Bakugo's spot. And then I'm going to have um, Shinso basically take the place of Todoroki. So, he's obviously going to win. Shinso versus Sero. I don't really see Sero winning. But moving on. Now, Deku versus Bakugo is the first match. Now, Bakugo will be extremely happy. He's finally able to t to fight Deku. And he won't get in trouble for it. Who he... Oh, he... He still somewhat hates Deku. He doesn't. No one knows that Deku now has one for all. Well, it's probably except Gran Torino, Nezu, All Might. Yeah. I don't think most of the staff yet knows about one for all. So it'll be very different to them all. 
Now, this is where we get into a good part. So let's get into it. Now, uh, Endeavor would then to ask the contestants, are they ready? As he would then start the match, let's both tell them they're ready. As Deck, but not Deku, Bakugo would immediately start shooting himself off towards Deku using his explosives, only for him to put a palm out and explode, only for it to be blocked by a wall of sand that, that was surrounded Deku on the floor. Bakugo seeing this would then use an explosion to send him up above Deku, only for the sand to literally block above Bakugo. As Bakugo there says, Hmm. I can't. That defense of yours is pretty powerful, Deku. But my attacks are power more are stronger. As Bakugo would then begin to um charge up an explosion, an ability that we're gonna say that he would learn that he would have learned during the, I believe I gave him a month the month time skip. As Bakugo would then finally release the explosion, well, would actually shoot himself off towards the sand. It would then finally release the explosion. Causing his explosion to go through the sand, sitting Deku flying, only for Deku to be caught by a wall of sand at the edge of the arena. Or well, actually, there's no um out of bounds, so there's really no need for the edge of the, for them to worry about being knocked out of bounds or anything. They use the entire floor of the arena. <clears throat> so Deku, with um crashing into the wall, would finally come out. As Deku then says. <laughs> Sand shower as he begins to then shoot off sand from above Bakugo who didn't notice Because Bakugo never noticed the sand that had went above Deku then formed a cloud of sand above him But everybody in the stands noticed that I mean it's right above them Bakugo wasn't too aware of his surroundings As Bakugo seeing this will begin to maneuver away from the sand shower only for the sand cloud to follow him seeing as how basically Gara's sand control, sand manipulations actually allows him to move the sand shower along with Bakugo. As this is when the sand shower would then, the sand cloud would then finally leave Bakugo along as Deku, as the sand would then uh, come back to Deku's hand. As Deku would then say, sand bullet. As bullets of sand will be forming in Deku's hands, they then begin to shoot off at Bakugo. Only for Bakugo to be hit by every single last one. If I'm being honest, Bakugo's not dodging it. It moves too high of a speed. And Deku's not even using one for all yet. So let's get into him using one for all. Anyway. So Deku would then begin to call upon the power of one for all. As Deku then runs towards Bakugo, Bakugo's finally getting up. Seeing this, Bakugo would get into a fighting stance. And would then try to let off an explosion. Only for Deku to move out of the way as... Following Deku's way is green lightning. So they're wondering, lightning? As Deku then kicks Bakugo, and and it sends Bakugo flying into a wall, only for Deku to appear in front of him. As Deku then says, um, what do I, do I want him to use Spirit of Shukaku? Is a spear with red tips. A spear made of sand with red tips on it would then begin to form. As Deku then throws the spear, it makes another one and throws that one, and then makes two more and throws those both, trapping Bakugo. Well, Bakugo's arms, legs, arms and legs in place. Before the sand would then the handles to those would then begin to form. Um, a whip that will then surround Bakugo's arm, Bakugo's um, throat. As Deku then says, "Do you give up?" As Bakugo says, "Never." As Bakugo then lets out and un- turns his hand only a little bit towards the wall, and then lets out an explosion, sending him flying out of the wall and getting him out of the sand. As Bakugo will then say, "I've been working on this attack for a long time." Now I use it against you, as Bakugo then begins to spin rapidly with the explosion, and I believe this is Howitzer Impact. As Bakugo is about to hit Deku, as sand then begins to form, as and this is not like Deku's normal sand. Everyone can feel a monstrous, different type of energy coming from this sand, as Deku then says, "Sand, um." 
I believe it's called Shield of Shukaku. I I really only know a lot of Gara's Jutsus, if I'm being honest, besides the ones that he I've seen him see. A lot of video game Jutsus that I know of Gara's being thanks to um Naruto X Borto Ninja Voltage and Shinobi Striker. If I'm uh, maybe Storm for it, but I haven't played Storm for in a long time, so I doubt it. <clears throat> so yeah. Now moving on. Deku. Um Bakugo would then hit the sand but then hit the shield of Shikaku. Well, this was basically like a mini Shikaku with the belly inflated. A very mini of Shaku this mini Shikaku is actually pretty tall, but his belly's inflated. It's it's kind of, he's on his le hind two legs with his arms stretched out. So <clears throat> Now, this is when um, some person in a stands would say, shall we do it now? She says, no. I want to study his abilities more. I want to know how <clears throat> how strong he is before we launch it. To give everyone a signal that they'll be on standby until I tell them they'll be on standby until I give the signal. As the person would then walk out of the stadium, then walking or uh, before using their ability being a teleportation quirk to teleport to the people who's surrounding it. Since no pro heroes wanted to miss the finals, there was no one to guard the outside of UA. So everyone was here. Especially watching the first years. Being Bakugo and Deku. And this is when Deku went then to Bakugo that he's, he has him now. As Bakugo says, what is he talking about? As the sand from the shield of Shukaku will then shoot out towards Bakugo. As Deku then says, sand coffin. As Bakugo sees this, he sees what he seen what it did to Todoroki. As Bakugo says, you wouldn't dare do it to me, Deku. As Bakugo says, Deku says, I would though. As Deku then slowly begins to give up his, um, slowly begins to close his hand. As the sand around Bakugo becomes tighter and tighter until it starts constricting, constricting Bakugo. And Bakugo, as Deku says, one more squeeze in Bakugo and you'll die. Do you give up? As he sees Deku about to move his fingers and Bakugo then says, I give up. Between um, different breaths because this way it's really constricting on him. As Endeavor would then actually name Deku the winner of this match. It was kind of an all-out tournament. The only thing that wasn't allowed was killing or permanently injuring a, a, um, your opponent. <clears throat> now, this is where we skip to Deku's next match. And if I'm being honest, it's, it was, it's going to be the original match that he would have then being Deku versus Senso. Now, Shinso, um, would have told Deku, it would sure, it, it must be nice to have such an amazing quirk, uh, such a useful quirk. <clears throat> Deku says he actually doesn't have a quirk. This is something different, but no one in the audience can hear this, except for Endeavor, who is shocked by this. He doesn't have a quirk, yet he has such power. And Shinso says, I don't believe you. As Shinso smirks, as Deku responds and says, You don't need to believe me. As Shinso is shocked, Deku shouldn't have been able to finish that sentence. Why isn't he able to control Deku? This is when Shikaku and Gar would, tend then, well, Gar would then tell Deku that someone had tried to mind control him, but he had fought off the control himself. And that Gar had fought, that Gar said that he had fought off the control, being Gar fought the mind control for Deku. As Deku says, So your quirk is mind control, huh? I wonder how does that work? And she still says you'll never know. She gets up says I Deku then says I guess I will never know. As Deku didn't watch Senso versus um Sero, so he didn't see Senso use um um his mind mind control quirk against Senso in the way of using his voice. So Deku, uh, um, Deku wouldn't know about that. Now, um, moving on. Uh, 
All right, moving on. Chase out with advantages. Well, then, if my quirk won't work against you, I guess I'll have to go into hand to hand. And f this is when Deku would have then noticed. Since I was using his um, Endeavor's scarf, as yet, Senso trained. I'm not Endeavor. Damn, why did I say Endeavor? Was using Eraser Head scarf. As um, Deku um, wondering why is he has Endeavor. Um, <laughs> no, I like he's Endeavor. Damn, he has Eraser Head scarf. He's wondering why. As Senso then tries to kick Deku, only for Deku to block it with his forearm, only for Deku to deliver a kick himself. Not using one for all, but using his own pure t um, power, um, pure power and strength and speed. Sending Senso back a few meters, only for Senso to run back at Deku. Before then throwing out the capture weapon, enough for him for Deku to be trapped in it. That's what he thinks. As this is when Senso would then see as Deku then begins to fall apart, as it is then revealed that Deku uses a sand, a sand clone. As Deku would then come from under the ground, from under Senso. As Deku then says, well, I can't say that I'm surprised that you defeated that clone. Because I'm not. I made the clone pretty weak. I'm surprised it took you so long to defeat it, though. Since so then begins to run towards Deku. Only for Deku to punch Senso, sending him into a wall. Senso gets out of the wall before then speaking towards Deku. Why won't my quirk work against you? But Senso put a lot more effort. Gara won't be able to fight this. Yes, this is when Deku, um, Shinso be extreme anger. He sees us his quirk didn't work this time. As Chicago would then tell Deku that his quirk works, um, Chicago would then tell Deku that he tried again, but this time they suspect that his quirk works through whenever Deku responds to him. As Deku says, ah, so your quirk works by whenever you speak to me. I speak back to you, and you're able to mind control me. I mean, that's pretty. I mean, what villain isn't going to talk back to you? It's pretty good, actually. Pretty good quirk. So why do you complain about? <clears throat> why do you complain about um not having a good quirk when you do, in fact, have a good quirk? My quirk isn't for fighting purposes, really. My quirk doesn't help me enhance my speed or strength. Well, there's nothing you can do about that, Senso. There's a lot of people whose quirk doesn't enhance their speed or strength. Like Uraraka. Okay, that was a bad... Was that a bad choice? Um, but we, zero gravity can't make her... Um, Weaker and it doesn't enhance her strength. It can make her faster, but it can't enhance her strength. So she would kind of was a bad person to use. He would then say, um, Jiro, um, not Mina, Mineta. Then you also have, um, Cero. Doesn't enhance his speed or strength. I'm sorry, guys. I had to take my finger up in this turning purple. <clears throat> Anyways, moving on. He will say, hmm. I shouldn't tell then begin to think back. Since I then says, I guess you're right. Zero Squirt didn't make him stronger or faster. Kind of. He could use his tape to um, get around faster, but that's about it. As I could say, see, now, <clears throat> now exactly. 
How does it make it not fair that you were born with a brainwashing quirk? If anything, that's a pretty broken quirk. To be able to brainwash anybody into think into doing whatever you want them to do. You become an excellent pro hero in the future. Now Shinzo is surprised for this. As Deku then appears in front of Shinzo to deliver the last punch. Or well, the last kick actually directly to Shinzo's liver. Incapacitating Shinzo. <clears throat> As Shinzo fall, um, is incapacitated, and Endeavor will then announce Deku the winner. And in the next round, Deku will be facing <laughs> none other than Tenya Ida. Who did he? F Ida, then. Oh, right, yeah, it is the finals. Alright, so yeah. It would be Ida. I had to remember, was it. Um, after Ida, was it the finals, or was there another match? But there wasn't, it was the finals. So. <clears throat> now, um, Deku, honestly, skipping over the rest, I legit forgot who Bakugo fought. That's actually why I originally planned to place Deku in Bakugo's, um, um, in Bakugo's place and put Bakugo in Deku's place at the beginning, but then I forgot who all Bakugo fought and did not feel like looking it up, so, you know, just left it there. Left it at that and just made Deku replace spots with Todoroki, which they're in the same bracket. Or not, uh, Todoroki replaced spots with Senso, or, no, Todoroki replaced spots with Bakugo, and Bakugo replaced spots with Senso, so, it went Todoroki with Bakugo, Bakugo with Senso, so yeah, that's how it went. Anyways, now, moving on to Deku versus Ida. Now, if I'm being honest, Deku will have a lot of trouble with Ida. This is a fact of Ida's speed, but his speed is... N I don't think Ida's speed would probably be anywhere near Rock Lee's. Lee was pretty fast. Really fast, actually. So, I don't really think he would have too much of a problem with Ida. So, I do believe he would take down Ida pretty... It would be a little bit... It wouldn't be too challenging, but it would be challenging enough. He would get Ida to, to um, you know... To freaking, uh, he would get Ida to, um, what is it called? What is it? Recede to give, to give up. I don't know. To, to give up. I don't know why I couldn't just think of that. I'm thinking of the other word. I can't really remember what the other word was. But he would get Ida to give up. Now. Um, moving on to the final match. Now, it'll be Todoroki versus Deku. Now, Deku never actually had to talk with Todoroki. Okay. Now, I've never had to talk with Deku about getting him to get Todoroki to use his fire. And Todoroki never had that talk with Deku about quirk managers and anything else. So, Deku wouldn't be so enthusiastic to get Buck Todoroki to use his full power. Especially with his training with Gar. Gar would have told Deku to never allow his opponents to use his full power. Now, he had learned that within the third grade, and not the third, the fourth grade Shinobi War against Modern Uchiha. That's, <laughs> he had learned that the hard way himself. I mean, look at what happened. If Guy would have went eighth gates against Madara early, Madara would not have survived that. Even by with absorbing the Ten Tails, I don't think his body would have been able to absorb the Ten Tails. I think, um, I do think that um, t Madara would have been completely and utterly defeated. I mean, Naruto would have eventually came back and saved Guy. Still, because of the fact being that Mardo had killed Naruto before absorbing the Ten Tails, so Naruto would have came back and saved Guy. Still, but yeah, we're back. We're not my hero with it, so yeah. So Deku would have never allowed Todoroki to use his fire while fighting Todoroki. 
Deku would have basically been using his sand and s rotating it so fast that it's, his sand is entering that of a heated. It's starting to heat up. Deku would then begin to rotate the outer, the in, outer part of his sand attack. As Deku would then say, Sand drill. As Todoroki would be shocked by this. But Deku is not spinning the inside. He's spinning the outer part of it. As the sand then begins to heat up, and then Deku, as Todoroki then shoots his sand at, shoots his ice at it, it begins to cool down rapidly, forming a glass drill with sand on the inside, allowing Deku to still control it. But the sand drill is so massively big, Todoroki wouldn't be able to dodge this, unless Deku stops it like feet from his, um, in centimeters from his face. At least, so Todoroki won't be able to dodge this attack. As this is when a, the um the person would say, "Do it." As the person would then give off the signal. As this is when a bunch of villains would then begin to attack all the heroes. As this is when a man by the name of Awful One would then begin to appear. Now, I remind you, there is no League of Villains due to the fact of Shigaraki already being in prison. The awful one decided, as I said, I did say that awful one decided not to get to get Shigaraki out of prison or to break him out. He decided to move on. Now, all my seeing awful one would immediately power up, showing the entire world that Toshi Yagi was all my. Obviously, shocking them all. As this is where I'm going to end part four for what if deck. Was God's reincarnation. I guess I know I did end it off. I know I did leave you guys on a cliffhanger, but part five will be out tomorrow on Friday, and part um the movie will be out on Saturday. So yeah, I will see you guys later. Join the Discord and link in the description. Go vote for the next what if for next week.